Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Porsche here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. So on this episode, we will continue the martial arts tournament because we still have to participate because we were able, after my screw up, to return and initiate the combat and get to a higher position so now in order to see if we can get into the final i will have to go and participate so i should be there around the nine just to be on the safe side that i will not miss out on anything as it happened last time okay so it looks like we actually are going to be able to reposition some of these planters which is awesome uh these are still going to take quite a long time to be done but in the meantime, we're going to at least try to process whatever it is that I can process here at the farm. And that should hopefully allow us to do whatever it is that we need to do. Okay, let's do the strength and glass because we will require to actually uh, use it for the better storage. And carbon steel. Yeah, we can do some carbon steel because we're going to need that for the steel plates and things like that. Iron bars. Uh, we do have plenty of iron bars. We don't have that much tin alloy. We don't have that many lead bars, but so far I have not came across that many blueprints which would require them. So how about we go for more iron and over here, of course, we're gonna just go ahead and continue with the bronze production because so far that is the most used substance or material which I keep burning through. So it looks like we have some steel plates which I will be able to use, some wooden boards, and we have one hour till the martial arts tournament and I require still additional small ch silicon chip and we will have to make the leather horns. However, I do not know if I have everything which I require for the leather horn. Yeah, so blue leather, this is something which I will probably have to obtain from a drop uh let me take a look blue letter in the wiki page maybe i'll be able to find it uh so let's see let's see let's see so blue letter and it looks like is a raw material used in crafting obtaining blue leather is uncommonly dropped by slurpees as loot the player can also commission the civil corpse to collect the blue leather for them so you would have to go to the civil corpse store and it will take two to six days for them to pick this up okay interesting Interesting. So we will definitely go ahead and try to look into that. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to drop off whatever it is that I came across here so that uh, we can continue. I should theoretically try to plant those uh, two cottons and reposition the, the two planters. Do have still this. Oh, I actually do have the two small silicon chips, so I should be able to drop them off in there. Uh, in that case, so there goes that. Now we have zero of them, and we have some mail. But I really, uh, I'm gonna have to focus on going over to see uh, how's the tournament doing because if I get eliminated uh, because I arrived late or something that would be just too damn unfortunate so let's drop off some of these things which I came across we need the furs and the junk in order for me to drop off all of this fancy stuff and we can go into our wood where is the wood amber honey and this we can drop off these all of that this one and and this one too and then there is the crops and seeds no we need uh no a first and junk yep here i can drop off this and i can sell the fish in the epic i can for now put the two calves because i will require additional building in order for me to accommodate the calves so that they can reach full of maturity so we will definitely have to take a look at that I will need to do something with the copper coil and somewhere in here we do keep the springs as well. But I don't have enough space for the copper coil in here. So 
So we're gonna have to allocate it somewhere else in the meantime. Uh, this can be kept in our inventory because it's gonna be sold and the venom is gonna be used then for crafting of ammo and such. So that's gonna be interesting. Uh, so I should do this, this and this. And let's see if I can then run off to the tournament and participate and hopefully get at least a decent spot. I would love to win it, but honestly, with the way I have been battling Arlo, I'm not really sure how that's gonna turn out. So I'm not as optimistic, but uh, even now we're gonna have to battle against one of the civil cores. So I need to uh, be careful on how we do this, because uh, a couple of kicks and I'm out. So I have to be careful on how this is done. And we really need to make it in time, because soon the tournament is starting. And uh, yeah, I don't know who's the first to engage in the event, because there is a timer. So, who do we have? It looks like uh, these two are starting at 9.30 and we are going against Remington at 12. So, I have my bets placed on Oaks and on me, uh, although going against Remington might be a bit more trickier, so I'm gonna have to be really careful on how I do this. So soon the two are gonna start engaging in this, I can in the meantime try to kick some... Uh, apples from the tree and not try to talk to ginger i i don't know if she always stands there we always trigger the conversation with her so we're gonna try to get some apples it's some uh, experience it's something to use for stamina too and later we can go try to talk with civil core regarding them trying to get us uh the the blue letter it's actually funny that you yourself would be required to actually task someone else in order to give you uh, the resources. Usually these games are more focused on the fact that you yourself need to make sure that you will actually obtain everything. So interesting stuff. Now sure we can get the drop uh, from those uh, weird looking uh, Snails, I think those are the snails, but I'm not really sure how that's gonna turn out. Okay, so it looks like Oaks is getting uh, beaten by Dawa, which is not what I expected. So it looks like Dawa is the one who is moving forward. Damn. Damn, okay. So that means uh, if I defeat Remington, it's uh, us uh, against the Dawa. So I'm gonna have to be careful here. But soon we're gonna have the match starting. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I'm ready. Man, this is, this is gonna be tough. Remington is a tough cookie to crack. I mean, he was the one who I was able to defeat in order to gain access to the new dungeons and such but it's it's not the, the easiest thing to do and i was thinking actually after the boom box is done uh we are gonna have to make a stop in order for me to go to the dungeon and use these uh stops to fast travel through the region so can can we go ahead and participate okay so it's gonna start off soon how soon really soon in like three seconds okay so let's head in and let's see if we can defeat remington by having more uh hp at the end of the two matches so good luck buddy you're gonna need it and i'm gonna need it because you never know how this is gonna turn out so we are dodging we know how his animation works, we know that we cannot initiate the entire combo. If we do the kick, he has enough time to re-engage us, so I will have to keep on doing this. He has three kick animation. Okay, and you can see clearly that those two kicks alone were enough to almost send me into the land of defeat so this whole approach of dark souls would be completely wasted yep okay okay careful 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 don't initiate no 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 damn it okay we need to make sure that i have the upper hand here okay 
save, so I'm definitely winning this. And we're gonna go in the second round. Hopefully I will be able to replicate the process. I'm quite sure that uh, the rest of the NPCs who are participating in the other rounds or matches uh, might be Remington or not Remington, um, the leader of the core. Uh, Arlo, who I might have to face off against in the uh, finals, so I'm not really sure right there. Okay, let him do the kicking. We will just move around the distance and come back and do what we do. And this way, I do something stupid, and yeah, of course, I do something stupid because it wouldn't be not your professional walkers otherwise. Okay. So, is he initiating? Okay. Nice, 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 nice. One more. Oi, 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 oi. Careful, careful. Do not know still the distance from which I need to attack in order to make sure that it will land. But we were able to defeat him. And now my bet is on me to defeat Dawa. Now I'm not really sure how Dawa is gonna try to headbutt me and do all these other weird things, but damn, this is gonna be tough cookie to crack apparently. And with the rewards, we might eventually be able to afford some of these cool things. So who knows, who knows? I'm not really that crazy about the furniture. I would rather get like the outfits and such, but we will see. Unfortunately, I cannot sell anything to the gift exchange despite the fact that they have 10,000 gold to uh, give out. So that sucks. Okay, so we have till 2.30 in order to do whatever. Uh, maybe I can chop down some of these in order to get some wood. At the end of the day, we did have to replenish our uh, furnaces, so that did burn through quite a lot of uh, our wood really want to actually mess around with me. Okay, well that was dumb. Ooh, blue scarf. I don't think that can be taken apart in order for me to get what I need. So let's go, Dawa. Let's see if I can defeat you. Okay, I have to go apparently over here this time. So good luck, buddy. Let's see how me watching old Steven Seagal movies will help me. <laughs> Probably not too much. <laughs> Probably not too much. Okay, so let's see if we can initiate. Okay, so he does the Zidane headbutt, apparently. Okay. Against Tawa, it might be even possible to initiate a long combo. is attacking in one direction but I have seen in this game oh my god okay I have seen in this game that it's even possible that uh, if you are like behind someone who is initiating attack animation you can still take uh, damage so it happens to me versus Harlow so that, that's why I'm really skeptical as to how the final match is gonna turn out but I'm quite sure we should be able to handle Dawa at least I hope so so, second round? Come on! Mayor! Do it! Do it! Just do it! Okay, so we're gonna initiate the combat here, dodge his attack, follow him behind, and once he does the headbutt animation, he is basically stopping it, and therefore we can keep on attacking. Which uh, kind of puts him in a weird disadvantage. Probably you should not charge head first into some problems. But that's it. I think I won. So can I exit now? Or how many of these rounds do I have to go? So this would be the third one. So far we have won both of them. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Man, this is taking way too much time. And it's gonna be almost 5 freaking p.m. by the time this is done, so I really need to hurry up. In order for me to do some other stuff today. 
Like, I'm not that much of a cat, unfortunately, because we had to do the house expansion. We had to do a bunch of other things. I don't think I will be able to fulfill the uh, fruit tarts quest because it did just, uh, yeah, it, it did not really uh, work out for me. And I still did not get like, a blueprint for some better kitchen or something. Okay, so I have one. I'm able to leave. And what does that mean? So max, match is complete, okay? So did I get some rewards? Do we have a option to do a group photo? Ooh, mayor, group photo. Let's do group photo. So what now? Do I have some points to spend on this? I did not get any reward or nothing. So what now, guys? Why, why is everyone clapping their hands? We, we still have to address the whole water pollution thingy. Uh, it looks like uh, someone is leaving that might be actually a tourist. So... Is that it? Hi! Something must have gone wrong in one of the old ruins. Maybe a broken pipe or some chemical tank rusted. Whatever the case, we need to solve it fast. I don't want to see my people's lives getting distracted by this. See okay. you. So... Because this is the last day of the tournament. You see, that, that, that's why I'm a bit confused as to uh, what to do currently, because... Uh, well, yeah, it, it lasts till 7. So that's soon, and uh, I really wish we would do like a group photo now. Like, why is it that only on that day where I almost massacred some old grandma trying to get a gift from a flying um, uh, ship, uh, sh we made a group photo? Why can't we make a group photo after we actually fight each other? This town is so weird. Martial arts tournament finish. Okay, so what does that mean? I don't see any reward for uh, ending on the first place. So maybe maybe tomorrow, who knows? Uh, so due to the time, I will not be able to sell the fish anymore. That's the unfortunate thing. The shops are now closed. Uh, so even if I try to go over here, as you can see, and also what I did screw up is the fact that today, ah, actually today is Saturday, I don't know if I will be able to get to the uh, Commerce Guild Hall and try to inspect the goods provided, uh, maybe it might be too damn late. It would be nice though if we would be able to do this because that way we might get some energy crystals or something as a potential reward. So, uh, it looks like due to the event and nothing has been done over here. So maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. We are still second. We are 3,113 points. Um, Higgins has still a superior ranking and he has twice as many points. So that's, that's still like really bad. So we're gonna have to do a whole lot of commissions in order to catch up to him. Uh, I'm gonna probably have to go to the civil court tomorrow in order to see if we can get our hands on the necessary things which uh, they want uh, or the, the blue letter. Oh, seriously, that's so interesting that you would be tasked to actually um, like uh, buy it or, or get someone else to do it for you. So interesting stuff there. I want to see if we can potentially come across any relics in here. Uh, I know it's a long shot, it's also getting a bit later, but uh, yeah, I mean, what am I gonna do else, huh? We did win the tournament after all, and if I come across anything useful, like spring or simple circuit, I will not be unhappy about it. Uh, the issue is, where do I find more of these relics? Okay, so interesting there that I did not actually get any resource whatsoever. Okay, springs, uh, appreciate some other stuff. Oh, come on, what happened there? 
Play nice. Play, play nice. Oh, uh, so there's a bunch of things around. You can dig down here in the iron deposit. And hopefully we would come across... Ooh, number two. Cooking recipe data chip. That's new. Interesting stuff. What is this? Uh, okay, that's simple circuits. Let's see if we can dig our way over to this one. I'm getting those data discs. I'm, I'm really tempted to go for the watering tank, but that's 10 data discs and it's just gonna be super pricey. Uh, structural aesthetics, okay, that's another thing which we can give as a book or a gift. We can give it as a book because it is a book after all. We should have tried to do some more fishing maybe gonna need the money. We are not that flush with cash and we have only like 4,000 something gold. So that's not really that great. Okay, it looks like we came across the tempering liquid. What else? What else is here? There has to be something else in here, right? Is that it? Is it really it? Okay, that's hard to uh, believe, but okay, that, if that's the case... Let's let's try our luck elsewhere then. Uh, maybe if we I don't know jump over here. It looks like I did already dig through some of these locations, so you never know. Trying to do the whole 360, trying to get some more resources just in case because last time we did run out of iron and also like soon enough we're gonna lose the license to come here and mine. Maybe trying to use another floor in the mines would be also beneficial for us to extract more relics. Okay, there seems to be something over there, and it's, uh... Okay, it's past midnight, so I really hate to replicate my, uh, sleeping outside. Like on the previous episode. Okay, so eyeglass, unfortunately, that's the relic which they decided to give us. Not really that ecstatic about that. But okay, let's let's run back to the farm and we are gonna try to make sure that tomorrow we are gonna get some stuff done. So we're gonna have to try to talk to the core in order to uh, try to get our hands on the blue letter because without it we are kind of screwed and yeah we're, we're just gonna see what's up hopefully i will have the funds in order to uh buy the commission from them and let's take a look at the mail to see what's up so participation reward uh dear max uh congratulations on winning the porsche march tournament it's unbelievable that you've become the most powerful person in porsche here are the prizes for the champions so there are some bandages uh bubble fish stew ocean's fortune that sounds tempting so we're gonna keep that and there is the participation reward um congratulations on predicting the winner of the final you're really good at this here are your prizes awesome uh and okay congratulations on predicting the correct winner of the semifinals awesome and from mcdonald hey builder thank once again for fixing up my stable i can start my rental service up again if you want to rent a ride just come to my ranch and place a reservation for a week i can promise a fair price I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Do we have more mail prediction reward? Okay, so this one did not appear because apparently our mailbox was full or something. So we're gonna keep these. And that's awesome. And now I can take the rope. We did make more of the um, cotton, so I can be making rope like crazy here. Uh, that is at least until we get the more advanced skewer and then we're gonna try to focus our attention on some of those more advanced blueprints of course so what what do we have a low number of uh charcoal Let, let's make charcoal happen because we need that in order to make like uh, carbon steel and all this other fancy stuff so why the heck not this is being made, uh, these are all done, it's two, how is this, damn it, we need the fertilizer, 
Okay, thankfully I do have it, but that just reminds me that I will be forced to go see grandma and purchase more fertilizer from her. So there is gonna be a lot of expenditure made in order to make this thing work, because as you can clearly see, uh, our, our crop demand is quite high and I do not even possess the sufficient quantity of fertilizer to uh, manage all of my crops. So it's gonna put some uh, issues on making sure that they all reach maturity on the correct day. And here we go, another day, another adventure. So we need to do a couple of things. Oh, uh, so, ooh, rainy day, awesome. Uh, okay, so we will need to go see Granny. But because she opens up at round eight, let's first get some wood because the furnaces and such, they are burning through this stuff like there's no tomorrow. And hopefully we're gonna get some wild cocoons and some other stuff which can be used for crafting purposes or for fuel purposes. I do wonder what sort of animal is uh, able to be rented from the rancher. So that would be an interesting thing to see. Because if I would be able to move around faster, that would certainly help me out greatly. So I really need to make sure that there is something to look into because I never used it before when I played this previously. So let's see, let's see, let's see. So we're gonna chop down all of this. I'm gonna chop down most of this stuff so that we have a sufficient supply of wood and these resources at hand. This is probably the reason why I never run out of the plant fiber and why I can be selling it, but you don't get as much as you would want for it, so there goes that. I'm really hoping we're gonna get some decent reward for this. And I'm gonna have to take a look into what do I need in order to make those stables for those two calves, because I did not expect that you can actually store them in your wooden storage box. That, that's kind of weird there. That is kind of weird. Like maybe there should be like a postponement that you cannot actually collect the reward until you have the necessary building. Uh, Cause like where would you put these animals, right? But apparently they're fine being stuck in a wooden crate. So we need 100,000 gold for this. And I'm really terrified of how much land do we get for 100,000 gold. Cause that's, that's not the easiest thing to get, you know? So, yeah. Okay, let's go see Granny. We do have those fish which I can sell theoretically to her in exchange for the fertilizer. And considering the fact that we should have still two more weeks to go, I really want to make sure that we have a sufficient supply of the bamboo papayas because they grow only during this season. So, there goes that. Okay, so what do we want to sell? We want to sell this, we want to sell this, and sure, why not? I, I don't know what to use it for anyhow. I'm gonna have to do something with the bird's nest, that's for sure. And now to the fertilizer part. So if I would go with hundreds, okay. And then the ba bamboo papaya, huh? So 20, let's go with 20 more. Um, these ones grow throughout all the seasons, uh, spring and autumn, we cannot do lettuce. Uh, we can do cotton, so we can go for like 10 more. And I still have space in my backpack, so that's all good, that's all good. Let's do some more chilies, cause why not? And, ooh nice, spiced steak restores 60 stamina, so I can burn through that like right now because I'm, I'm still not done doing tasks for today. So it really looks like we can actually rent a horse from Rancher, huh? So how much would it be to rent one of you guys? McDonald's stable. Uh, speed, uh, 15,000, 10,500. Wait, why, why is this one? Seven days for 500, what? And he has the best stats that 
Oh, this is like a permanent purchase. Oh, okay. Now 500 is not that. Success. Okay, so can I ride the horse? Okay, how, how do I ride the horse? Oh, okay, so is he gonna follow me? Okay, so I have to press the left mouse button. Oh wow, this is so fast, this is ridiculous. This is gonna be so much fun. Can you jump? Oh my god, it can jump. This is a total game changer. Uh, question is if he's gonna be in uh, one place or if I'm gonna have to keep chasing after him because he's gonna be roaming around and such. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that. It looks like he is however, following me. So at least I think it's a he. I, I'm not really sure. I did not look under the hood. Um, not that kind of person. So let's not touch on that subject anymore, please. Okay, so uh, that fertilizer, right? Uh, and it looks like also some of the crops are actually uh, mature. So that's something for us to work with. So it looks like the chilies are actually done. So good news there, but I really need to re-fertilize all of this stuff in order for it to grow. I was thinking, how about we tap into it and just put in like a full-on reserve. Uh, how about we put down these over here so that the tempered glass is not there. And we can put down three pieces for each. That way it will keep on growing and growing and growing. It takes a whole freaking week for these to reach full maturity. And we really need to make sure that they do not run out of fertilizer or we are gonna be really screwed. Okay, it doesn't let me do more fertilizer for some of these. I'm not really sure as to why. Okay, interesting. Out of here. Okay, there goes that. So we're gonna see if I can do the blue fabric. That would be awesome. I also wanna see if I can sell a bunch of stuff, which would be great too. Let's do the papaya in here as well. So we still have some crops which require more fertilizing. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're gonna have to inspect the goods at the guild hall in order for us to get some reward for it. Hopefully it's gonna be possible today because there is no event. And with the horse, we should be able to move around rather fast and 500 is not that much for five days for a horse, which is uh, much better with statistics than the other ones, which you can purchase permanently. I think it's a really good deal. So let's try to make sure that this is all done. And that these will be able to be moved around. I still don't know if I have those two. Um, or if I did move them around. It looks like I did move them around, right? Yeah, I did move them around. Okay, okay, good. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, so this is uh, gonna have to be refueled. These are gonna be most likely uh, refueled as well. Urban steel that takes a whole lot of time to be made. Charcoal, we can refuel you and we can put in another batch of these, which is to be on the safe side because we do have the stuff. Okay, so seeds and everything, we need to drop off what we have. Any crops, any crops. These can go over here. Then we need to go to our amber honey and such. In order for me to drop off the other stuff. So it looks like I did ran out of wood there for a bit. We have only 190 of it left. So that's not the most optimal thing. Let's go to the bars. Uh, so that I can drop off all of this stuff. We got quite a lot of it. Uh, da -da -da, reinforced glass I will need to put somewhere else. Uh, how about here? We can do apples. Because we have the steak. We have... Okay, this stuff restores HP. So that's awesome. Uh, attack permanently plus one. Okay. 
So I can eat this just to increase my attack. That's awesome. And this uh, increases the critical chances. And there's the first aid kit. Okay, okay, okay. So we have this for stamina. We have this stuff and this stuff. And I need to drop off some of these other things in order to make more space. Uh, this needs to be dropped off here and we need to locate where I keep the other stuff. Uh, the bird's nest, uh, sure, let's see those so that I can sell those. Because I honestly have no other use for this stuff anyhow right now. So it would be just a waste to hold on to these things. We can sell this as well. So we have stuff to sell. Where do I keep these weird thingies? Okay, there goes that. And I need to locate the rest of these things where they are stored. Lenses, those can be put over there. These three things are sold. We can sell the rope too. We can give this to one of the architects. I need to find if I have somewhere the tempering glass or not. I don't I don't think I do. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to drop it off there for somewhere like in here, and we need to find where I keep the damn springs. Those are here, and those chips. Where are those chips? Uh, hold on. I saw that we have only one of. Okay, I should dare to be invest into the bars. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so where do we have the old ports and uh, these things? Where do I keep it? Am I blind or am I completely out of all of these? Everything is possible these days. Okay, so that goes there. We have only seven of these. That's unfortunate. Uh, where's the wood stuff? We need to drop off these two. And this goes over here. Somewhere I keep the bandages. I don't want to be using them as of yet because I think it's a waste. And we have 60 of these, so I'm gonna have to take a look at what can we exchange or get for them, potentially. So that would be awesome. And I think that is almost it. The tempered class needs to be put away somewhere. So let's go and put it over there. Okay, so let's let's hop on. Uh, but this is gonna take time for me to get used to the fact that you need to press the right mouse button in order for you to initiate the uh, riding on the horse. Uh, is the architect inside? I want to give one of these two fellas uh, the book. And of course, none of them are in here, but since I went inside, I want to see... Is it the barn or shed? Hold on, we, we need to look into this. Okay, so it's correct. We we use the shed in order to house the calves. Okay. Okay. So uh, we should require a couple of things. We should require things like uh, 10 hardwood planks, 10 ironwood planks, 5 bronze pipes, and 5,000 gold. Which means I do not have enough money right now. But okay. Uh, so that's that's something and we might be theoretically able to put it over here I'm not really sure how it would work with you then being able to move the structure around if you have the animals in there For the coop itself we would uh, and what do I actually get out of the shed? Uh, the player can have a maximum of one shed, but it's not required to have one. All of the resources that shed animals produce can also be obtained as loot or gathered elsewhere. But, yeah, I mean... Uh, there's a lot of info on this. Unfortunately, it's not really that well explained as to what do you get out of this stuff, so... Uh... The shed can house up to a total of 12 calves and or lambs at a time. The animals can be purchased from uh, McDonald's Jumping Livestock, owned by McDonald. Two calves are given to the player for uh, free as a reward for completing McDonald's stable. The player will need to interact with the shed itself to add animals or food. 
The farm animals will need food and padding every day in order to grow quickly. If the player omits giving the animals either one, the process will take longer. The player can hold a feather duster in their toolbar as their active item and press the interact button to pet many animals at the same time. Animal products. Uh, once fully grown, simply providing enough food is sufficient enough for the animals to continue to produce loot such as colorful fur or animal feces each day. If the animals are not fed, they will not produce. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So it looks like there are options for animal feed even? Animal feed. The player can interact with the shed and add or remove animal feed at maximum of 50 items, which can be placed in the food through its shed. Each type of animal feed gives a different amount of growth points. Giving feed with higher growth points helps the animals grow faster. So you can give uh, plant fiber, rice, snakeberry, apricot, coriander, cumin, plant jujube, Seaweed, sugar, wheat, chili peppers, bamboo papayas. Oh my god, you can get so much stuff. It looks like even honey helps. Even mushrooms do. And aroma apples tend to have the best effect. So interesting stuff there. Okay, so we need to have more money apparently is what they are trying to tell me. Awesome. Real, real gentle, real gentle. Real gentle there. Okay, so the horse is over here. So let's see if we can do the inspection inside of the Commerce Guild. It looks like we can. Hopefully I'll be able to find these uh, mistakes uh, easily because this is usually my biggest problem. This is going to be driving me crazy. Anything which seems out of the ordinary to you. You need to sometimes angle these in such a weird way in order to find the mistake of someone else. And the hint button does not do anything, so I'm not really sure why this is here. Because I'm not getting anything out of this. So the first one was fairly easy to spot, but the second one is going to be more trickier, huh? Man, I don't see anything. And I know it's usually the one on the right, which is the uh, incorrect one. So. Uh, well, not it's it's always the one which is the incorrect one. But as of now, God, I have nothing. There's there's nothing which I can spot that would be out of the ordinary. At least not to me, not to me. I got nothing. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I did not find it. Okay, hopefully this might be uh, a bit easier. Okay, so this one was done in like five freaking seconds. That's awesome. Can I inspect more of these things? That's it. I cannot inspect these. Okay, interesting stuff there. So we're going to get some reward and... Uh, only tomorrow I will be able to pick up a commission. Hopefully there's going to be something which I can do. Uh, damn it. Wrong key. Uh, so let's go and see if we can sell some of this stuff. I don't see the architects, so I cannot really hand over uh, one of the things which I am currently holding onto. So the book. Okay, the, the, the these sell fairly nicely. And let's see if we can sell this at Morse's shop. So there's that. And let's see if we can go task uh, the boar. The 
some of these things despite the fact that all of them are in there. Man, this horse is fast. This is awesome. Why did we not do this before? Now I'm definitely tempted to get one of these. It's a civil core, right? So is it inside that I can put an order for? Post. Uh, rune diving. Item collection. So what I need is actually blue leather. And I would like to get... Oh, can I, like, go for 50? 1,313. I'm not really sure how many of these suckers do I need, and this might also uh, affect the amount of time which I will need for this to be done. So let's go with 20, and can we cut the duration? Oh, it's gonna take two days. Okay, cost of commission. Post it. Are you sure you want to post this commission? Okay, so that's that. Hopefully they're gonna pick it up. Ooh, it looks like we can even ask for more stuff, but honestly, I can be collecting so much of the horn fur and the other stuff uh, on my own that it's uh, completely pointless. So let's not do that. Now the question is, what do we want to do with our lovely horse here? Uh, so I have multiple options. We can try to do the sewage plant ruins thingy again. I'm a sucker for punishment and we have like plenty of time to try and tackle this. So why the heck not? Hopefully our horse will not abandon us because this is kind of a dangerous location to be at. So we are able to just run past- what the heck was that? It looked like a loogie was spit out of the ground or something weird. Okay, so we're gonna get off here and we're gonna see uh, if we can do this and if we can actually finish this run today. So attacking from behind, attacking from the front. What happened there? Sounded like a chicken or something. Damn it, this was a small place, but I'll take it. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. So these little buggers can apparently drop the blue letter, but I'm not really sure what are the chances that is gonna happen. So I don't wanna, like, tempt it. Is that it? Is that it? That, that's it? Okay. Second floor out of six. Oh fudge! This is this is gonna be. Hoo -hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo -hoo. Whoa! What was that? Okay. Uh, parkour. Uh, the question is, can I actually make it over there to the chest without dying? Okay. Please don't be trapped or something weird. Small engine, awesome. We haven't been able to pick one of those in quite a while. So this works out fairly well for me. Okay, did, did step into that goo there, unfortunately. I want to pick up whatever is in that chest. So, okay, let's, let's go. Hopefully it's not trapped. Spring, I'll take it. Ah, oh, no! Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Try not to fall. Oh, fudge. Okay, so we're gonna have to take the other side, apparently. Interesting room. Interesting. Really nice. Nice change of pace. Really nice. Oh, fudge. These are the rolling boulders, huh? This is gonna be annoying. Especially last time I tried this, one of them did not spawn, like, correctly. And, like, it literally was going through the, the ceiling. So it was really weird. Ooh, small chip, awesome. So we have two again. Okay, careful there. We can eat the steak in order to recover the uh, stamina. We did not take that much damage to our HP as of yet, so we should be okay in that department. Okay, these piranhas are uh, kind of uh, really annoying here. Trying to make sure that I dodge these attacks. Ooh, what's that? 
dried apple slices. Nice. Should really eat some of this stuff in order to recover some uh, HP, right? Uh, so let's do this. Let's eat this. That's a really lovely booster. Okay, and one more. And oh wow, he's hiding in the great top. Okay, there goes that. One of those little buggers appears too. So let's try to clear out this location as fast as possible. Let's see what's in the rest of these boxes. Both parts, I'll take them. Why not? I'm not gonna sell them because they are mostly used for crafting. And oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. We go from this into another set of boulders? Really? Interesting. Interesting choice. Interesting. Come on, bring it on. Okay, that one was weird. Temperate liquid. I'll oh, take it. That one again did the thing with the ceiling, so I'm not really sure why is that, or if that's some bad optimization or a bug, but it can happen. Trying to dodge this little poisonous bugger, and uh, now only the last floor, right? I want to eat the apple slices because uh, stamina. Oh, it looks like we actually have a boss in our hands. I like to take like a nice snapshot, but it's uh, a bit difficult. Okay, so he does have a uh, close range attacks too. I was able to dodge that swing. Let's see if we can dodge these other ones. And then we move in. This is like a cute the Dark Souls I'm starting to feel like, right? Anyone? Should I be worried that it looks like it's some sort of kid which got dropped in the toilet and flushed or something weird like that? What is he doing now? Okay, that's weird. Okay, he's able to dodge whatever that is. Now he's gonna do whatever it is that he's doing. But I'm just gonna take the punishment and... Uh, okay, valves. We do need valves in order to uh, fix that uh, uh, broken pipe. So that's awesome that we have this. Let's clear these crates. Maybe there's gonna be another enemy inside of them. You, you never know. They are kind of weird like this. Okay, I, I'm for some reason, I cannot go through here. There's like an invisible wall. So, exit. Exit is that way. Okay, so let's go that way. I cannot seem to be able to drop those crates, which is unfortunate. So that should mean that this is done then, right? Okay, so exit ruins. We can uh, hop on our horse. And I can theoretically try and do some fishing maybe today. Okay, so where is the way to, 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 to get back home? It's over here. So this is why it's important for me to actually consider getting the bus stop over there so I don't have to uh, bother with all this weird nonsense that's happening over there. So we did put in the request for those blue letters. And I was thinking, let's try to get some blue mackerel. Do you have the venom? We do have some other resources, like jet tube and, and other stuff, which I have no idea, honestly, what it can be used for. Casual clothes, uh, defense 60, stamina 20. Wait, is the martial artist tournament thingy gone? So we might have to go into the commerce guild in order to actually purchase this stuff, because even the things from the fishing event are still there uh, to be purchased. So let's see if we can uh, fish out some blue mackerel. Blue mackerel. I said blue mackerel. Okay, lovely. And we're gonna have to then, after the boom box is done, focus our attention on getting our hands on uh, the uh, industrial furnace, the more advanced skewer, and things like this, which are gonna allow me to get 
more advanced crafting resources because I'm quite sure eventually the commissions and everything are gonna get much more difficult to be made. Damn it, why did I pick up the racket? I'm just so happy that anything bites uh, the tackle, I, I automatically go for it. I could have actually had a fish instead, which would have been better, but at least the rackets can be sold, so there's that. And since nobody is ever uh, like complaining that this racket is all covered in seaweed or something, well, then I do not have an issue with that, right? And this horse is so amazing. Why did I not get this earlier? I'm not even sure at what point in the game I got to previously when I was playing this, so I cannot really tell you. It, it's been like a long time, like maybe two years or something. The, the game came out I think in 2018 and uh, it's probably gonna happen in 2022 when they're gonna release the uh, mic time at uh, the, the the sand rock or what's it called so it's gonna be interesting to see how the sequel holds up to this and if they're gonna be able to address some of these issues which keep popping up in here because there are a couple of things which i have noticed like the audio for the npcs uh being muted or disappearing all of a sudden when you are finishing off guilds or commissions or if you are interacting with someone or some of these things which are appearing uh, through the surface or like uh, rendering later than they should and then it creates these sort of weird illusions such as the boulders which are in the ceiling or some attack from the enemy which appears out of the ground. Why did I pick up the rusty pipe? Probably because I was focused trying to explain whatever it is that I'm doing here. It's it's possible. Everything is possible. And we can theoretically consider doing tomorrow the uh, second tier of the uh, dungeons. We're gonna see what's up. Because at the end of the day, I mean, I do have a bunch of food which I obtain as a reward to restore my attack or improve my attack or to... Uh, restore my HP and such, so why the heck not? Why do I keep clicking on the rusty pipes? I really need to focus on the fish. Okay, there goes the first one. Emperor, nice. I would prefer the mackerel. So, let's reel this sucker in. We're gonna at least get some decent chunk of change for this. Okay, two blue macros in a row, awesome stuff. Ooh, I should invest that point uh, into something decent. I've been trying to focus my attention towards the farming, so maybe we can tap into that a bit more. No, I'll pass this time, okay. And instead we get another Emperor Banner Fish, nice. Nice, so it's good if I pay attention to what's actually happening while I talk as well. Come on, give me mackerel. Right now, I'm, I'm actually a bit more cocky because I know that the horse can get me to my... Uh, damn it! To my farm. Why did I pick up the damn racket? Okay, there we go. That's the fish I want to see. That's the big money ticket. There we go. There we go. It's actually funny that out of 100 fertilizer, I was able to spend like almost half of it. Ooh, Emperor. Nice, 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 nice. Let's reel this one in. This would be the only Emperor macro which we would have caught in that case. And uh, that's 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 gonna be it. It's it's too damn late anyhow. So let's just run off back. It'd be funny if we can ride the horse and swing the sword, but this is not uh, medieval chivalry or, or some other game like that, so we're gonna have to be less unrealistic from the expectations. We're gonna pop down, and I need to drop off the stuff which I came across. We can put down more rope to be made, because why not? So let's make more, and let's drop off some of the stuff which I came across. So, uh, 
I want to get rid of this stuff so it's not sitting in my inventory, apparently. Uh, what do we have in here that might be dropped off? Anything. The books, they can be dropped off. The small engine, these old parts. Where's the small engine? Where do I keep these small engines? So now we have two of those. That's awesome. We have two of these. But good news, we have three of these chips. Uh, we have 22 of those. I'm gonna sell the fish. I'm gonna have to sell these. I'm gonna have to sell these. Uh, macros, ooh, 11 of those. Nice, it's gonna be a nice chunk of change. We need to keep the ball. I need to keep the metal jar as well. Let's drop off this thing. Uh, we can keep the jerky and I need to find where I keep the venom. And the venom can be then used for crafting some sort of ammo or some type of weaponry eventually. Any food or anything. What is this? Uh, sulfate. Okay, that's, that's new. So we're gonna be able to maybe make some alchemy with this stuff. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, da -da -da. Where is the uh, tempering liquid? I think I have one left. Okay, awesome. And then we have the copper wires. Ooh, that reminds me, I need to make those bronze pipes. Good, good thing I came here. Uh, so let's, let's, you know what? Let's go with like 10 of those or 11 of those. Let's, let's do 11 of those so that we have 12. Let's refuel. And we're just gonna let those make whatever they are making. We need to go into this in order to drop off this. And I need to find a decent spot for whatever this is. So let's drop that in here and let's put these over here. I should need these two in order to increase the damage. There goes the attack. And whoa! Damn it, I collapsed. It took me too damn long. But we should be still okay because I was inside of the home. Uh Martha's delivery is about to expire. Yeah, I am well aware of that, but I unfortunately do not think I will be able to do just about anything with Martha. So we do have the steel plates. I need to take a look at the welding rod. Uh, what do we need in order to make the welding rod? So in order to make the welding rods, we will require the industrial furnace. So yeah, yeah. Tin ore and copper apparently. Okay, I can live with that. Hello, buddy. Okay, he is outside. He's probably upset that I let him be outside during the rainy day. It's probably not the best thing for the horse. And we can make more of this stuff. Rather soon. What do we have here? Uh, from Commerce Guild. Uh, dear Builder, thank you for helping us. Yep, so two power stones. Awesome. At least we might be able to refuel these. And okay, so this is being done. I'm gonna drop off this stuff in the metal and bars. Uh, da -da -da. 30 power stones, that's awesome. And today we should be able to pick up a commission. So let's go ahead and do just that. So Higgins is waiting to go inside apparently, same as I did. Uh, so let's see, let's see, let's see. We have four commissions. Ooh, one is tier eight. I'm in need of three waterproof cloth. Please help me fulfill this commission. I think we can make those. However, uh, there might be something weird which I might have to get in order to do this. Woo -wah. Wow, 1,000 for this. This, this sounds interesting. Now, uh, waiting at home need two iron pans. Okay, I'm not really sure, iron pan, what? 
Ah, it looks like uh, Higgins actually took one of these conditions. We need the three shell necklaces. I really want to take a look at this. So three waterproof cloth. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to go and take a look at... Uh, I think it's the skewer which does this. So I can theoretically postpone the production of the uh, rope. Waterproof cloth. So we can make this. And we can make three, which is the exact number that he needs. And that means I'm gonna stop this. And we're gonna instead make the uh, fiber cloth. Awesome. So, uh, let's go pick up the commission. That's an A rank commission. So hopefully we're gonna get some decent uh, amount of points for it as well. Waterproof cloth, that's it, there it goes. Higgins did pick up a commission, but it wasn't that much high ranked commission. So I'm not really sure what uh, the score is gonna be from that. I wasn't able to take a look at it, which is unfortunate, but at least it's good to know that if you uh, get in here before he does, which is almost impossible, and then you uh, pick up or look through all of them, you're gonna be able to determine uh, what theoretically you might get out of these commissions. So interesting stuff there. Uh, da -da -da. This is 1,562. Wow, that's awesome. It's definitely more money out of that than what I would get out of selling all the rope in the world. Nothing over here. So I'm tempted uh, because we picked up the commission. Let's try to do the second tier of the uh, dungeon to see what we can potentially get out of it. You never know. Yeah, so these loogies are what they are spitting at me. Spitting bird! That's... That's so weird. I mean, sure, there's stuff like spitting fish, but... Yeah, what do I know? So let's go, level 15 till level 18, and I still forgot to invest points into my character. I still want to go with more farming. Uh, artisan, 5% uh, material cost reduction when crafting on work table. That can actually be awesome as well. Uh, we would, however, have to spend 5 points in here in order to get the next rank. You know what, I actually think we're gonna go for the artisan this time. And wish me luck in, ooh, tackling all of this. Cause that's a lot of enemies. I need to watch out for all the slime and sludge because that's not good for my health. Ooh, what's that guy do? Oh wow, he shoots like a freaking harpoon, that's not funny. Combo of attacks all over. Did he hit me with the harpoon? That's what I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Well, I was able to knock him out, which is awesome. And I did not even have to step into the slime, I think. Okay, can we jump over here and pick up whatever is inside? Small engine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And what do we have here? Copper coil, awesome. Please, I don't have to make these things. And another copper coil. Interesting stuff. Let's head into the next level. There's quite a lot of loading to be done. At least the computer is able to do this fairly quickly, so there's that. Okay, let's let's dodge, let's dodge. Harpoons are gonna be coming our way soon. Masked Fiend. Interesting. Oh wow, he just appeared out of freaking nowhere. Two of them appeared out of freaking nowhere. Okay, let's take care of him. Fortunately, they were close enough for me to unleash a volley of attacks, which just took care of them. 
is this grade destroyed or not? Okay, that, that's what I was like stuck on. Did it break or did it not? There goes that. There goes that. We can continue to the next level. Oh wow, okay. Oh, this is gonna be funky. Okay, so I need to time this somehow. So that I'm not there when this uh, goo is being sprayed. And I will need to time it so that I can jump across to the other platforms as well. Whoa! Okay, I did take some tight, slight damage there, but we should manage. Okay, there goes that. We dodge, we attack. We dodge, we attack. Rinse and repeat, and we see how well it does it go. There's a lot of these little buggers. So I need to be on a lookout for those harpoons. Okay, worked. Uh, I should really start clearing them out one by one. The attacking. That's another one. And now he cannot attack, but the other one can attack. And there's still that fish for me to worry about because they are kind of annoying to. Okay, I did get bit by that thing, unfortunately. I was able to recover the HP. Simple circuits. Ooh, forgot two chests almost. That would be most unfortunate. Don't be like me. Don't forget these important things. Those small silicon chips, they are hard to come by. So awesome. Okay, he is facing me with his back, which is a big mistake. I'm gonna use that mistake to attack or dodge the attacks. Looks like we already took out two of them. The jump dancer, those are annoying to deal with. Okay, they are respawning. I have to be careful here. Okay, not able to uh, initiate their attack animations is also important for me. Let's break through all of these apple slices. Give me all the apple slices. Nom 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 nom. The dried meat, and there's a lot of motherfuckers. Attack, dodge, 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 attack, attack, dodge. That's rude. Okay, can, can I get inside? They did respawn in there, and I don't know if that room is gonna be trapped, because last time we were in a room like this, when I popped uh, one of these chests opens, uh, a boulder fucking fell from the ceiling. Blade of Malice. Okay, yeah, that sounds interesting. Is it something which I could craft? Okay, interesting. We're gonna take a look at the Blade of Malice eventually once we return. Let's first crack open these in order to get all the good stuff out of them. I still keep thinking that this uh, sprayed stuff is some sort of enemy which is moving. Uh, I just see movement and I think, you know, it's like a dungeon crawl so there's gonna be an enemy, but no, it's not! How fun is that? Okay, we're able to deal with the first fish. The fish is more annoying than the guy with the flyer or whatever it is that tool which he is holding. Why do you guys make a noise like a chicken when you are here? That's so weird. There goes those. And now we need to deal with the harpoon fella. Not giving him a room to attack. So we are fairly close. Cleaning out this. Picking up everything. It is important to go through the crates. It is important to go through the crates. We need to wait for this to despawn in order for the crate to fall down. There goes that. I'm gonna at least leave some with some decent stuff. This little gap of slime is the most annoying thing ever, because you take damage. Okay, uh, let's see if we can time this somehow. 
small chips. I'll take it. I would prefer barbecue chips, but we cannot be too picky. So let's just keep on attacking. Dish out that damage. I did hear that weird noise. Again, making me think that more enemies did respawn. Let's get inside, and it looks like there's the fish and the guy with the harpoon. I'm giving them time and collecting loot. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay, Fuller got about the sprayers. It looks like we are going against the same boss, huh? Invisible wall. Invisible wall. So just straight up ahead then, huh? He's doing the swinging. He's doing the swinging. We are doing the swinging. Don't know until what point he keeps doing the swinging when he switches the attacks. Usually it tends to happen when their HP decreases to a certain point. So since they are uh, almost at half of it, it is down to half of it. You need to be careful there. He's now doing this weird stuff with the spray thingy. Keep on attacking, keep on attacking, keep on attacking. We are taking damage here. I will try to just uh, see if I can out damage him. I was able to out damage him. Not the best strategy, but sometimes you just have to go ahead and first and just take the punishment in order to get it over with. Let's take whatever is left inside here. I'm super happy with all these small chips and such. That's gonna be really nice. At least I will not have to look for them inside of the mines. But we will still have to go inside of the mines in order for us to... Uh, we're gonna exit the runes in order for us to get the data disks. Unfortunately, I did not get my hands on any data disks of any kind in here. So we were able to come across a fairly decent uh, chunk of items. But most of them are like relic related and such, but I'll take the small engines and things like that because you never know. And what do we have over here? Check. A strange uh, object found scattered on the ground seems to be part of something from the old world. So that that's all that I get, huh? Okay. Please, we're gonna take a look at uh, where the skewer is at producing the waterproof cloth. So that we can theoretically fulfill the commission. And... It's still gonna take a while to Petra to finish off the research. Uh, I gave her 10 data disks and it told me that it's gonna take a whole freaking week to be done. So that's not the most optimal thing, honestly. I wanna see if we reset this, if we would to get uh, to a uh, better location and I think I will have to purchase uh, a fee to re-enter these mines again or not who knows okay let's see uh, uh relics i'm looking for data disks and stuff like that there's three of them in a row over here so it should be fairly easy for us to obtain these we're starting good with a data disk already we did not come across too many uh, things related to. Don't give me a freaking racket. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Uh, uh, regarding like building these statues and monuments, I'm not really sure if I will have to return to the uh, older mines uh, where we are extracting the bronze and copper. Or well, it is the copper we, we just use yeah magic lamp piece too so that's a relic piece we have that one already i think so we're gonna have to hope that we come across something new and decent which is gonna help us out uh, i think that's another freaking racket why would you yeah martha's delivery i unfortunately don't have the the cooking uh 
gear to do the quest, so that's most unfortunate. It's like one of the first quests which I have failed at, so I'm really sorry, Martha. But no fruit tarts for you. It's not my fault your order was forgotten. I wasn't really sure what would be required of me to make or do, and when I found out cooking is involved and we have so far only grill available, then I knew I was kind of screwed. Uh, okay, there's actually quite a lot of this stuff. It'd be awesome if I would grab some manganese since we are here. Uh, this is quite the large deposit as is. So let's go a bit crazy, at least 50 would be nice. So let's clear this out. Okay, we are over. Yeah, so maybe let's go uh, 100. Okay, and let's see if there is a relic in sight. Hopefully we're gonna get something good this time. Because you never know what these relics, what you get. Uh, if I would not have received a ton of simple circuits out of the dungeon, I would be ecstatic about getting them, but like this, I'm not really that optimistic. We're burning through our stamina points rather fast as well. Lots of these chests. Lots of these chests now. Hmm, interesting. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's leave. Uh, I did not pick up too much iron. But not that I came across a big deposit such as this one up on this wall. Let's grab some iron since we are here. You never know. I even came across data disk. And we will require those data disks. I'm really considering doing the stuff for the church, but we also have to make sure that we have enough for the research. Because if the research is not doing anything, then that's just unfortunate. Okay. So it's gonna be six. What else should we try to do? Uh, I should try to check on the uh, status of the cloth. So let's run. Run horse, run, jump. Okay, the horse is immortal because it's able to withstand massive falls from heights which it should not be able to withstand. Okay, we have this done. So let's make more of this stuff. And we are gonna try to find our person for the commission. I'm looking for the map. It looks like Wuwa is by the beach. So let's go ahead, at least with the horse. It's gonna take us only a couple of moments to get there. Really awesome stuff. I'm, I'm, I have no stamina left, apparently. No stamina whatsoever. So I really need to uh, eat something, huh? Here, Bob. The mayor needs to install some new lights in the harbor. We can't get much work done once the sun goes down. Hello. See, again, the audio disappeared. Uh, so I don't even see a location for like uh, a light to be installed in here. I mean, it's just your house here, bub. So what exactly do you expect to install at the pier if you don't put down any location for the lights to be installed at? We need to take a look if I have any sort of food. Uh, smoked meat restores HP. Uh, that's not good. Uh, we can go with these. What do you mean not enough stamina? Now we have enough stamina. I should have probably not ate all of the uh, dried apples. But I did go a bit crazy there, so what's up? Okay, so let's do some more fishing. Ooh, oh, oh yeah, I did do the commission. I just realized I did the commission. I was like, I forgot to do the commission and I picked up the waterproof cloth. Am I not weird? But anyhow, if you did like the episode, give it a big thumbs up. Helps a lot with the algorithm. For more of my time at Porsche, check out the playlist. It will be featured in the video's description or at the end of the video. And for more games like this, so Stardew Valley, Graveyard Keeper, etc., go check out the link in the video's description. It will lead you to the channel itself. And I publish content like this on a weekly basis, so you will have always something fun to watch. So consider subscribing if you're not, and hit the notification bell so that you get updated on all 
the new upcoming content which I do. I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully I will see you all at the next one. Thank you for watching, stay safe out there and bye bye for now. I think we just came across another king to fish. I have to be extremely careful. Because I haven't seen this one yet. This one is a bit trickier to reel in. King Koi! Nice! Damn it, again with the rusty pipe. Thank you.